Hi, this is JNM with a new tutorial about Unreal Engine 4 and Unity 5, in which I compare the way post processing effects can be used in both engines. I mentioned in my previous video that you have more flexibility with the concept of post process volumes used in Unreal Engine 4, and somebody asked me if I could explain this in a bit more detail. Okay, here we go. So let's first have a look at how post processing works with Unity and come to Unreal Engine afterwards. I have this scene here in Unity 5.6 without any post-processing effects. Doesn't look really cool, right? So the best option in my opinion to use post-processing with Unity is to download the post-processing stack for free from the Unity Asset Store. Here's the page, you click on Open in Unity and the project will be downloaded. Then open this in Unity, then this tab of the Asset Store is added and then you can import the asset into your project. And after we imported this, we have this folder post processing. Now select the main camera because the post processing stack is assigned to a camera in Unity. Click Add Component and select the script Post Processing Behavior. To this script, a so called post processing profile can be added. I select a folder, then right click into this folder and choose Create Post Processing Profile. I call this PPP. Alright, now I select this profile. Then I select the camera again and drag this post-processing profile into the profile slot. Now I'm ready to assign the post-processing effects to my camera and as you can see and as I said in the previous video, these post-processing effects are global, okay? They are assigned to one camera. I won't go too much into detail for the different effects, I just wanted to show you how to set this up to compare it to the post-process volumes of Unreal Engine 4 later on. Alright, so let's assign some effects like the ambient occlusion, bloom, or the color grading. And I have to say, the scene looks much better now. Don't get me wrong, I really love this post-processing stack in Unity. But now I will explain why, in my opinion, the post-process volumes of Unreal Engine 4 offer much more flexibility. Let's have a look at this scene here in Unreal Engine 4.15. We have one post-process volume added to this scene. You can also search for it here and drag it into the scene and it is added. Okay, now let's get rid of this because we already have one. And as you can see, this post-process volume is a box. But there is a property here in the post-process volume settings and this is called unbound. And if this is set to true, the post-processing effects will be applied to the whole world. For example, I set the temperature now to a warmer tone. And as you can see, it is applied to the whole scene. Because unbound is set to true. But when I uncheck this, the post-process effects will only be applied inside of the boundaries of this box. Or better to say, if your camera is inside of this box. Now let me scale this up to demonstrate this. I set this to 5 for all axes. And even if I move in my viewport here to the inside of this box, the effect is applied in the editor and when I move outside of this box, it isn't applied anymore. So I hope you understand why I said it is more flexible, okay? Let me decrease the gamma a little bit so that you can see the effect better. And as you might notice, when I enter or leave this box, the effects are not applied suddenly. The effects are fading in and this is because of this blend property here. Let's set it to 400 and look how this is smoothly fading in and out. 
Also when I start the game and move to the inside of the box and to the outside, very nice. And what you can also do is just to add another one, another post process volume with different settings. So let's do this, just duplicate this one, hold the Alt key down and move it. And now we have two post process volumes, then I select the second one and set some effects for the tone mapping to a bluish tone, just to see the difference. Okay, we go with that, looks a bit strange, but it's just for demonstration. I start the game and I can't see any effects. Then I enter the first post process volume, then leave it and the effects are fading out. Then I enter the second one and I have this bluish tone. And here I leave it again and the effects are fading out. So guys, I really hope you liked the video and you understand the difference between post processing in Unity and Unreal. And I would say the discussion is opened, but keep in mind, it's not a war, it's just opinions, experiences and personal preferences. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on JNM.